since May when we launched WaveServer, we've had just tremendous market reaction. Folks have loved the value proposition, the scale, yet simplicity, programmability, openness. But they've said to us, why just Metro? Can you take that same value proposition and extend it to the long haul? And absolutely, now we have Wave Server for really any haul. We're taking advantage of some capabilities in the WaveLogic 3 Extreme chipset that sits at the heart of Wave Server. So if you're building data center interconnect networks that are across a country or across a continent, you can get the speed, the simplicity, the openness benefits of Wave Server now in your long haul network the same way you can in your metro network. So we're announcing three things today. The first is the industry's first stackable data center interconnect platform, now not only for metro but for any haul, including long haul. Secondly, we're announcing the ability to program that distance versus capacity equation, 16 QAM, 8 QAM now, QPSK, so the industry's first 8 QAM to give you more programmability options to give you the maximum distance and capacity. And then third and finally, really smart analytics that we're showcasing to give you that ability in real time to continually optimize the amount of bandwidth you have. That will give you the lowest cost per bit at any point in time. Inside every Wave server is our WaveLogic 3 Extreme chipset. It has multiple modulation formats. It'll do 16 QAM to give you 200 gigabits on a wavelength. It'll do 8 QAM for 150 gigabits. It'll do QPSK for 100 gigabits on a wavelength. The more capacity you can drive on a wavelength is obviously a huge lever on your cost, your space, your power consumption, the amount of fiber you need. Using the new capabilities and flexible grid, we can actually squeeze channels closer together and use more of the available margin to deliver 120 channels of 8 QAM, or 150 gigabits per second per modem. But of course, when we come to deploy this network, we're not going to put 125 transponders day one. And so we can use these analytics to look at how much margin is left in the network for these particular channels. A real life example would be for the first 16 channels we deploy, we can use them for even more capacity than what they'll be used at at their end of life and fulfill conditions. We can turn them up to 16 QAM to get 200 gigabits per second per channel for the first 16 wavelengths we put on the system. 200 gig wavelengths that other people will tell you are really for the metro. We'll be able to drive those at long haul distances. We've got customers using it for 1,000 kilometers. We're seeing 1,700 kilometers. 1,000 kilometers, that's a little more than the distance from Chicago to Atlanta. So these really are long haul links that we're talking about. What that means is WaveServer entering a new application space and being able to do DCI across continents as well as across town. A lot of our intellectual property and a lot of our key advantage is baked in to that WaveLogic 3 Extreme chipset. It can do more capacity at any distance than anybody on the planet. What that means is if you can get 200 gigabits on a wavelength with Sienna and the competition needs 100 gigabits on a wavelength, then relatively speaking, we're gonna be about half the cost, half the power consumption. We built in hooks in the actual hardware and analytics built into the software that can actually determine the margin for not what's happening right now, but also the what-if scenarios. And that's the most important thing when you're going to take advantage of dynamic abilities to mine margin in the system. You need to know it works now, you need to know it works when you make the change. For us, it's really strategic to always stay at the forefront of being able to drive more and more capacity at any distance. That's why we invest so much in our WaveLogic technology. And that's why we're able to do things fundamentally differently with this technology than what anybody else can do. If you care about scale and capacity and economics, you're going to want CNN in your network. Whether you're trying to connect data centers across a country, across a continent, WaveServer is going to be a great option for you.